This is the Revoltage Podcast. Today, I will be discussing Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. This is a really interesting fight. This is a huge fight. Um, probably the biggest since Floyd and Pacquiao. So, uh, who do I think is going to win? I'm going to be frank and up front. I think Mayweather has this fight. The only reason I say that is because Mayweather is, this is his world we're talking about here. Um, Conor McGregor is a phenomenal MMA fighter. In fact, probably one of the best, if not the best. Do I think that he's good enough to transition over to boxing? I don't think so. At least not enough to beat Floyd Mayweather. Do I think he could beat some guys lower in the ranks? Yeah, of course. But I think that we're looking at Floyd Mayweather, who's 49-0. and 0. That means nobody has beaten him. The best boxers in the world have not beaten him. So do I think that Conor McGregor, who's never had a boxing match, at least amateur or professional, do I think he can show up and put Floyd on the floor? Not really. The main thing with Floyd is that he, you can't touch him in the first place. So I think that's really going to be uh, the big issue that Conor's going to have to overcome. Floyd is not known for his punching power, so I think that that creates an interesting dynamic because Floyd typically runs and scores points for his entire matches. He plays the judges, whereas Connor is one of the most aggressive and heavy-handed fighters in MMA. So what's interesting about that is I think Connor is going to have to go after Floyd. In some of Connor's fights, you see that he has... He takes advantage of when people come in after him. He's definitely a counter striker. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how he deals with somebody who's going to be basically fighting the same way he does. And two counter strikers oftentimes will end up really kind of creating a boring fight. So Floyd, who already has a reputation for being a little bit boring, uh, is going to be going up against somebody who's known for counter striking and dropping guys whenever they're coming at him. So I think that all in all, Connor's going to have to go after Mayweather because Mayweather is going to win the points if Connor doesn't drop him. So does he do that? Does Connor land that one punch? I, I just don't see it happening. The good thing is he only needs one punch, and that's what really makes this a compelling fight and not just a complete blow off. Because I think that Connor, if he can land his left hand just a couple of times in this fight, I think that he can put... Mayweather on his butt. The problem is in boxing, you've got 10 seconds to get back up. But in MMA, you drop him, you jump on top of him, and you finish the fight. So Connor's going to have to drop him with a knockout punch and make sure that he doesn't get back up in 10 seconds, which is interesting. That's a huge difference between MMA and, and boxing. Does Connor put people down to where they can't stand back up? Do I think that he can drop them again? Yeah, I think he can drop them multiple times if he lands it once. But I don't. The problem is, is he even going to land it once? We don't know. Mayweather is bar none one of the greatest fighters of all time. Connor McGregor is new on the scene. He's been one of the best for only just a couple years. But Connor is easily in his prime, whereas Mayweather is getting a little old. He's looking for that 50th win. Right now, I believe he's tied for the longest undefeated streak, which is interesting. And I think this is, in his mind, an easy way to get that 50 while still making a bunch of money at the same time. But if Mayweather goes into it with that attitude, with an attitude of, oh, this is just going to be a pushover, he might be surprised by Connor. So I'm really interested to see uh, the mindset that Mayweather goes into this fight with. All in all, I think that Connor has 12 rounds to land that one punch. Mayweather just has to score points and do his thing that he does every fight for 12 rounds. And I don't think that Connor is going to land that one punch. I think he might get a couple good shots in on him. I think that he's going to give Mayweather something new to look at. But I don't think he's going to hit him because I think that Connor's probably going to end up being surprised by how fast. Mayweather is. That being said, I'm rooting for Connor because I am a big uh, MMA fan and I think that uh, boxing is actually a little boring for me to watch. 
So I'm really pulling for Connor and uh, really would like to see the boxing fans maybe switch over to watching this Connor guy in MMA and then maybe we'd be able to get some more uh, support on the UFC side of things. But Connor, you know, another thing that people kind of brush on is the idea that Connor has a awkward style that Mayweather's never seen before. And that might be what the sport of boxing needs is somebody who's coming in with a fresh perspective. Um, somebody who's going to walk in and, you know, cut different angles, stand with a wider stance, fight from further out. They talk about range in this fight. They say that uh, if Connor can stay back, and I think he should, if he can stay back, he's got a couple inch reach advantage, which isn't a lot. But if you watch Connor's fights, he knows exactly where everybody is at all times. He knows exactly their reach. He knows exactly where these punches are going to be coming in at. So I think that Connor should utilize that reach and utilize that understanding of, of how far his opponent is and where that danger zone is at and see if he can pick Floyd apart. The only problem is that means punches are coming from further away. So Floyd is going to be able to read him easier. That's where the awkwardness of everything comes in at. If he can fight in a way that Mayweather is not used to and hit him from angles that Mayweather hasn't seen in boxing, especially, I mean, even something as simple as changing his stance, he might be able to surprise Mayweather and start planting those seeds of doubt. And if you can start planting that doubt, especially in a, a game like boxing, there's it's a very mental game. So if you start having doubt and if Mayweather starts thinking, man, maybe I shouldn't be in here with this guy, or maybe I underestimated, maybe I should have trained differently or something like that. Connor can start winning that mental edge. And if anything I can say about Connor McGregor is that guy is smart and he is very uh, headstrong. He loves the mind games and he can win the, the mind game, the mental aspect of this fight easily, but he still has to hit him. It doesn't matter if he's winning the mind game, if he can't hit Mayweather and Pacquiao had a lot of time to try to hit Mayweather and never did. So I think that Connor's going to be swinging at air a lot. I think he's going to have to st sit back in that really predictable range and not play a technical game of boxing with Mayweather. He's going to have to play a very unique and awkward, I would say, game to uh, beat Mayweather. I think that's all my input for now. Hopefully... Hopefully Connor comes out on top because that would just be amazing. Um, if you guys don't know much about Connor, he has done so much in the UFC. Uh, he's the first double champ in the UFC. So nobody in UFC history has ever held two consecutive titles and two different weight classes at one time. So he's a legend on that aspect. So even if he loses this fight, he's, he's got nothing to lose really because then everybody's just going to say, oh, well, it's boxing put Floyd in the octagon and he just kicks his head off. Everybody knows that there's no denying that he would eat him alive in the octagon. But, um, if he could come over to boxing and put Mayweather away in his first fight, we're talking Mayweather. We're not talking about just some pushover, some tomato can. We're talking about one of the greatest boxers of all time. If he could put him away, that would just solidify Connor as maybe the most decorated impressive and legendary combat sports fighter ever. I mean, that's nobody's ever done that. Not on that scale. Nobody's ever beat Floyd. Nobody's ever won two titles. Even Conor McGregor, you ask him, he says, nobody thinks like me. Nobody moves like I do, <laughs> you know? So yeah, I think that I'm rooting for Conor because anytime I've ever doubted him, he's always proven me wrong. So at this point, I never cheer against him because that's just a bad idea. <laughs> so... Mayweather wins it in 12. Connor's calling it that he's going to win it in four. I think realistically, Connor will probably land a couple shots, but not heavy enough to put him down. I would love to be proven wrong, but we're talking about Mayweather here. And that's it. Let's see what happens.